And this is going to be a, just uh, basically an attempt to see um, how well I can make stuff sound for uh, playthrough, if it goes alright. I might start recording a lot more stuff. If it goes poorly, well, you'll have a few episodes of this and then nothing else. Resident Evil 4 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. <laughs> Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Parking tickets. Who are these guys? Idiots. Did you say something? No. Leon, hmm. I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. 
Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. So, if you heard anything there, doing the cutscene, uh, for me. Basically, I, uh, I'm staring at the audio levels and I was, uh, doing different stuff to see if anything registered on the mic. Like, to make sure that, uh, didn't look like breathing was gonna be too loud. I made sure that I could, uh, like, take a drink without, like, hearing me gulp. And, from the audio levels, it looks good. And that's all I can the basis off of. Birds carry gold coins and gems. And hand grenades. And now that we've fired off gunshots right outside this man's house, let's go say hi to him. He wouldn't think we were coming to rob him at all. No. We're also just, uh, entering his house, yeah? No, not ask for, like, consent or anything, just... Walking in. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Sorry to have bothered you. How dare you break into my home freeze. with a gun? I said freeze! So, not poor this dude. Feel bad for him. No. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. When the president's uh, life is uh, not the president, but the president's family's life is at stake, feel free to uh, murder anyone you want. In a foreign country, he's not a zombie. That sounds odd, but Leon is a survivor of, like, literal zombie apocalypse, as he said with Raccoon City. So. Yeah. So maybe he wasn't just trying to hit me with an axe through trespassing. Maybe he really was a murderer. Maybe. So basically, if I go out the front door right now, they're gonna be waiting to, like, stab me in the side of the neck with a pitchfork. But what I can do is jump out a window. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna get some distance here. And then Pitchfork Guy is the annoyance. He's the deadly one. So if we can just keep Pitchfork Guy from doing much, we shouldn't really have too many trees. Oh, I'm stuck on a tree. Tree. No. Oh, there's a hill there. I didn't realize that. Okay. Trying to get back into how this works. There we go. Wow. That was a good knife, I guess. It does the thing, Serve ammo because we're going into a bit of a big fight. 
And now that we've killed them, by right of law, we can now loot and pillage everything they own. Yeah, that's how that works. Your gold, your life savings that you hid in uh, the wagon, mine. Because I killed you. I don't know what it is, but, uh... What's it called? I don't know. I've got a much deeper voice, and then I start, uh, talking, like, to do, like, a speech for something, or, uh, while recording. And then I talk a lot higher, and I don't know why. So this is really, as much as an audio test is, it's also, uh, an experiment for me to try to keep my voice low and sort of normal-ish, like now. Do you have a hand grenade for me, bird? Ah. Yes, he did. I love that bird just had hand grenades. We're gonna help this random dog that could just be, like, rabid and bite us. Just because nice guy, Leon. And then I can run off with his limp. But I can still hop a fence. Hey, look. Dynamite strung to a tree. Wow. Un forastero! Un forastero! I don't know what that means, but I assume it's he's over there. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. No. Un forastero! Yeah. Trying to think of stuff to say because of the whole like you know commentary thing. Um. So I should uh, say none of this is blind. I've played through the game a ton of times, and in fact, I was about halfway through uh, my last playthrough of it when I decided, you know, I kind of want to record or possibly live stream this. So uh, yeah, and I was like, all right, that'll be a good thing for the like audio test I'm trying to do. Jittery Leon hands. You guys haven't even attacked me. I've just seen them. I'm like, I'm going to shoot you in the head. I think there's someone in that shack, if I remember right. But these guys don't come until I get closer. And then I come here. And then I come around. Yeah. I don't want to pass that door. <laughs> Well, screw you. Or not. Okay, how about this? Gold. Gold is for that stab wound. Oh, there is no one here. Just, uh, good lady. No sex discrimination. They just murder everyone. So, yeah. Take the air. You shoot someone while they're running and they just trip and stumble on themselves, it's great. This game does a really good job of making it feel fun when you shoot someone. Like, oh god, he got a gun, run! Come on, out, Leon looks really cool. Like, I can't really, like, zoom the camera out, but you can see when he's sort of running. The blue jeans, the belt, the utility belt, the jacket. Leon looks really cool. And the hair. Look at his hair. Look at his hair. It's amazing. Here's the shack with a guy. He thinks he's sneaky, so wait for him to uh, lean forward a bit, and for Leon's aim to aim forward. Oh god, I wasn't fast enough to kick him in the face.
trying to get his curve ammo early on. Later and it's not as huge of a problem, but, uh, another game. How much bullets do I have? 55. Plus 10 of my guns, so 65. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. I will not, Leon. Do not lie to her. I... I don't need to know those things. Just walking with that limp. Still looks cool. one of the two, so maybe the other one survived. Maybe he got away. Maybe we'll see him later. Hey! A guy! He's aiming a gun at you, Steve. Steve! I'm just a bandit. That's why I'm a bandit. The chicken laid an egg. Hooray! Use the chicken egg. No dejes que se escape. Vaya por detrás. Why are these people? So for clarity's sake, the chainsaw guy, for clarity's sake, is an instant kill. If he reaches you and gets in range, you get a cutscene of him cutting Leon's head off. So keep chainsaws away from flesh. They're not exactly healthy. This is almost what you would call like a first boss fight. That's completely optional. If you run into this house, the chainsaw guy comes. If you don't, you just have to fight off the entire village. So no chainsaw guy. But here you get a shotgun. There's the trade-off. I am Leon, and I am cool, so I will battle the chainsaw man. Shot the axe out of the sky. Give me a chainsaw man. There we go. Oh god, that was not good. Nope. Uh, yeah, jump down. Yeah. There's a chainsaw behind you. Okay. Shotgun. Where's the shotgun? There's the shotgun. Where's the hand grenade? There's the hand grenade. Kill him? Or is he just at my foot right now? About to stand up. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that answers that question. No. 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 There. Ten thousand points. Or, uh, points or whatever. And that, friends, is why you go in that house and then fight the shotgun guy. Or the shotgun guy, the, uh, chainsaw guy. $10,000. Muted the mic there for a sneeze. See, I'm professional. And... Oh, my. 
my face. Ow. Oh, I'm alive. I thought I was dead. Okay, so. Got me. Ow. Get away from me, dude. Here. Get shotgun shells. You know, as they throw Molotovs up, which is why you don't stay up there. You know, it'll otherwise be like a little pull out butt. about the shotgun shells too much because I don't tend to use it as like an actual weapon. I uh, sell it at the first shop. I was having fun murdering. Where's everyone going? Bingo? And that was the game intro. On again. I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Notice that he had the shotgun in his hand in the cutscene because I, uh, went in that house. He would have had the handgun if I hadn't gone in that house. Ooh, more shells. And it's not just whatever weapon you have equipped, because, um... Yeah, long after this handgun has been gone from our arsenal, he will still be holding it in all the cutscenes. It's just that one. You know, there's a lot of nice touches like that, though. Where there's, like, stuff you do that brings out different stuff. Like, at one point there's a choice. Dudes with insects for heads, do you want to fight? Or wolves with Cthulhu tentacles? The answer is dudes with insect heads, because the wolves are deadly. That means... Take the red herb, because we are a botanist. Like everyone in the Resident Evil universe. Bullets. I can't knock that down, can I? Nah, I didn't think so. Okay. And... That is terrifying. I thought that was a picture frame at first. That window with the dude there? Jesus, actually. <laughs> Screenshot. Yeah. So. Been recording for 24 minutes. Um, so, I'm gonna end the recording here for the the first episode, then 25 minutes, almost exactly. By the time I finish my speech, it will be, probably. Uh, yeah, when, uh, we come back, we will, uh, enact the right of war, and say we've laid claim to this village, as we have slaughtered all the inhabitants and sent the remaining refugees to go be refugees. So we m will now take all of their things, because that's how that works. And... Five, four, three, two, one, bye. That didn't work.